Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final day of the regular rocket season. Number one, the MLG Pro League. It's here. Rich, it's been an emotional ride, man. We're and finally here. Today's crazy. Today's today. insane. Everything kind of comes down to today. Yep. Um, all of our matches are extremely important. But first, very important announcement. You've been so excited about this announcement. I come bearing gifts. <sighs> Go on. <laughs> all right. You've, you've, you've been excited about it. What, so, what, what is this? We've got, we've got a gift. Giveaway contest. Yeah, we've been working up a little bit of a contest, okay. trying to get all the fans some cool loot. Uh, so basically, just make a GIF. We've seen all the pros do all of their crazy shenanigans, but we haven't seen the fans do anything cool. So go ahead, make a GIF. The only rules to enter, mm -hmm. you tweet them at with the hashtag MLG Rocket League. Okay. You have to submit them before October 12th, okay. and the winner is going to receive a PS4 scuff. Ooh. Yeah, and we're going to... I teased this yesterday. There is an award show coming up on October 12th. There's an award show on October 12th, okay. and we are going to announce that on the award show. So the winner gets announced on the award show. Correct. So all you have to do, if you're a fan of Rocket League and you have some crazy-ass play... Crazy. Cra has to be crazy. Make has a gift and tweet hashtag MLG Rocket League, right? Yeah, that's it. Can I enter? You uh, can't. Damn. You can't. I had some great, great hours. Yeah, yeah, you're man. not getting was, the scuff. You're not getting it. I was being it. like Cronovi the other day. I was like flying through the <laughs> flying through the sky. But again, uh, the award show, uh, something which I've been really, really excited about, got some awesome prizes uh, and awards to kind of give away on that as well. It's going to be live Monday, October the 12th at 6 p.m. Eastern. A lot of people have been asking, you know, MVP, Golden Boot, Golden Glove. We're going to have all that plus so much more. And that again, Rich, is, is where we'll announce the winner of the GIF contest. So... All the fun stuff out the way. It's time to get out of business, well, Rich. Also, really oh, quick, more. before there's we more move fun on, yeah, there's we, more. We are wait, wait. still going to make more prizes. So if they want to tweet at us ideas that they have for like MVP, Golden Boot, anything okay. like that, they can go ahead and tweet at us. Oh, look at that graphic. That's beautiful. That's our Twitter handles right there. Yo, did you see how it just went? Yeah, yeah, Whoop. it wiggles in and, and just, out. Just like, it hit but go ahead there. and tweet at us. We're gonna be listening. <laughs> there it is again. Those are our Twitter handles. And we will try to make those awards real. Beautiful. <laughs> I. This is going to be an interesting day, guys. We yeah. have three games going on this evening. Uh, I'm super, super excited because, as you said, Rich, the, the games actually are very, very meaningful this evening. We're starting off with uh, Devoid versus Flipside Tactics. Excited to see the boys at Flipside. I was uh, giving them some little jabs in the Skype chat, just letting them know. It's better at real football than any of those guys. Uh, then Devoid go up against Swarm Gaming, number one in uh, their pool as well. And then Cosmic Aftershock versus VQ Untethered to close out the evening at 8 p.m. Eastern. A game everyone has been so excited for. But I actually want to take a look over at our groups or our division, starting with Division 1. This is going to be the, the key division. Okay, Swarm Gaming, 14 and 4. Flipside, 13 and 5. So, Devoid Gaming as well, we should point out, in fourth place there. So, yeah. th th this is the key. They're, they're basically, Devoid needs to win at least one map to guarantee that fourth place qualification. Correct. Or lose by less than 38 goals because of goal difference. I'm pretty sure that's the correct number. I'm going to have to double check it, but that's the number which is for some reason stuck in my head. Then the other side of this whole shenanigan, flip side, okay, we could potentially have a tie for first place. Yeah. So if Devoid steal a game against Swarm, but flip side 6 0 them, then there's a tie for that first seed as well. Basically, so, the only thing that we know for sure goal difference. is Kings of Urban are in third place. That's all we know. That's all we yes. know going into this. So, well, no, not necessarily, because if for some freak of nature, Devoid Gaming 6-0 flip side, Kings of Urban and flip side are having a battle for second and third. So it's this group, tonight. it's like, yeah, just yeah, throw the papers yeah, in the yeah. air. We don't really know what's going to go on with it. It could be so many different scenarios of tiebreakers and ties, and for a lot of people wondering, it will be based on goal difference. Now, if goal difference is tied, then it goes to head-to-head, -to -head, just like football in real life. A lot of you Europeans should know that, um, some North Americans as well, although the MLS is very subpar. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. But predictions. Do you have one? What do you think is going to happen? I mean, the first two games are, are crazy. I, 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 it, it depends, man. It really does. Like, Flipside have been known to kind of start slow, which could definitely cost them. Swarm looks so good. Devoid Gaming. They have Cookie Coog tonight. They have Cookie Coog. Devoid just need to... Devoid just need to win one game. That's it. But then it gets even more interesting, right? Because we kind of talked about Division 1 being crazy and completely out there. Division 2, there is a huge fight for number one seed. 
of course, Untethered versus Cosmic Aftershock, the last game this evening at 8 p.m. Rich. 16 and 2 is Untethered. Cosmic Aftershock is 14 and 4. So what does that mean? If Cosmic Aftershock win 4-2, five first place. Gotta love some goal difference. Wow. Tonight is going to be pretty exciting. Bro, I, I I may scream like a little girl. Hopefully we don't have to talk about chickens today or anything uh, crazy. I know Ch we definitely- Chickens. Be, chickens. Know, animal yeah. Ducks. Ducks is our ducks, thing. Ducks. We, chickens. They're practically the same. They're just animals. Ch they're, they're practically- Yeah. All right. Wings, well, they, it, they, they flap away. But all this, of course- Leading up to the finals. Leading up for finals. Tell me a little bit about the finals. So the finals are going to be October 10th, starting at 3 p.m. So the top eight teams are going to make it. We're going to run through a sin single elimination bracket, and we're okay. doing that all on October 10th. I'm so, so excited. All matches is going to be best of seven. Highest seed host last game, if it goes that far. And, of course, a $2,500 cash prize. We ain't messing around over here. We, 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 we put out the big money for Rocket League. And I'm excited to see who will prevail as season one champion. But for now, game number one is about to get underway. Flipside Tactics versus Devoid Gaming. Who is your player to watch this game, Richard? We're currently looking at Campbell Dog the sidekick, trying to figure out Campbell, who that is. Campbell Dog the sidekick. Chubby Skulls. That is 100% Marky. <laughs> Marky is 100% Chubby Skulls. I can tell you that for a fact. Um, already, though, the boys. 1-0 up. Uh, Cooks going to be my key player to watch throughout the evening simply because Mike, Mike rules are trumps. My key player to watch tonight is going to be Coogie Coog. Coogie Coog? We talked about him a little bit. Coogie Coog! We okay. talked about him a little bit yesterday. Uh, okay. He's currently the highest, he has the highest conversion rate out of anyone. Of any but, because he's only played six games, so it's not the most accurate stat, but still has a 61% conversion rate. It's pretty nice. He's a, he's a key player. He's a key player. He makes a lot of plays happen on the team. Oh, but one is going to go in right past him. Slot that one out. Or that's quite that was Cooks. Cooks here. Yeah. Cooks. Cooks. Mike with the kind of assist that Cooks comes flying in from the back post. So already 30 seconds gone. It's looking like a good start for Flipside Cats. It's been really the downfall for most of the season. They're such a well balanced team, though, really. So. Oh no, oh, that's, three. that's go on, Marky. That's it. Put that one home. Marky's such a Marky could be my favorite player. Yeah, he just that. You, that we, we were there. we were kind of talking about that. You you had this thing where you, who are you playing with? You playing with Lucinio and, and who? Oh, we talked about that. Yeah, on, on your team. Who, who do you, who do you play with? So it, it's two v two, and I'm I'm playing with Lucinio, and you are playing with. I'm, I picked Marky. You're with Marky. Oh, that's for the NAEU. I also, I have to beat Doomsy, too. You have to beat Doomsy. You don't that, have a chance. That's where the beef started. I started it. You started the beef. I told him I've been training after he beat me 18-0. He beat you 18-0. One time. It was a fluke. Yeah, you beat yeah. Fluke, he says. I, I'm definitely playing with Marky. I feel like me and Marky have uh, very, very similar play styles. The synergy is definitely going to be there. He likes oh, to Coogie score. Coogie Cougs. I like to score. And Coogie, does he like to score? Oh, well, Arcane really Arcane's did just, not get a good piece of that ball. Okay, just kind of sit there. Watched it. He's very, very passive right there. Didn't really get any power behind it. That was a nice aerial. We have all three of flip side tactics bunched up in the net. He's going to push it which, up the line right I, now. I, I was just reminded, you owe me Chipotle. I do owe you Chipotle. Okay, yeah, uh, it's good, it's good starting tomorrow. Day day. Awesome. Yeah. Love it. Cookie Coop's not looking super hot today. I mean, games only just started. Let him, let him warm up maybe, but I mean, so far, flip side really just been dominating the first couple of minutes of the first game of the series. Of course, again, to really reiterate the importance of this game, flip side currently down by one game in that division to Swarm Gaming, who holds first place. So, flip side looking for a 6 0 here, and the void, they just need one win. One win against either of the two teams they play. They're playing 12 games back to back this evening. One win is enough to secure them both days. My that prediction days. was 4-2. Four 4-2 two. Four two against Flipside? Yeah, I, I thought they were crazy. Kugi Coogs is a big factor of this team and we haven't seen him for a while. I, I think the big the big thing for me is the, the skill gap in, in kind of the divisions between top and bottom is, is just so big right now. 
I think that's just due to teams you know, practicing and you know, new teams coming out. How much have the teams been playing other tournaments outside of the M1G Pro League? ESLs, Cubs, Infinity, they've started doing Cups as well. I feel like the top teams have just kind of been milking it in and kind of expanding. But the teams at the bottom side really haven't been able to put as much practice in as they would have liked. Yeah, and I think a lot of that also comes from the age of the sport. Yeah, and good point. Teams are starting to flesh out more and more, even as we're moving through the Pro League. But hopefully we'll see something out of the Void game. Especially now that they have Cookie Coots back. They just need a plump goal. That is, oh sorry, there's That one's going to go right in past him. Absolutely nails that one, man. Tip from outside the box plays, not even going to watch the replay. Four row lead with a minute 36 left. Fair to say, this one is going to be heading over towards the flip side. Of course, uh, we're starting on a North American host server, so bear that in mind. It's North American versus European, as will be the 7 p.m. game as well. So, Campbell honestly, is Marky Duda or Mike Rolls? Campbell is, is Mike. I, I can tell you for a fact, Campbell is Mike Rolls. Mike Rolls, yep, yeah, He's and playing really well today. Chubby Skulls, it's Marky. Marky's, Marky's going to walk right Marky's in there. having a great game. But if yeah. you play like this in real football, you may have some, some chance. But I mean, this is a dunk. He dribbles it right in and dunks it. He actually got a little lucky there because it hit the back of his car. Just had enough spin to kind of follow it through. But 5 out, minute 13 left. This is the, the onslaught, really, that I expected with Footside going up against the Void. I assume, do you, do you know Swarm Gaming is at the full squad today? Uh, yeah. Okay. I think we may have a tie break then. Yeah, they have Stocky, Pashi, and the board. The board. Excuse me. Debo. You mean Debo? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. I'm from America. Just to be sure. Be sure. <laughs> <laughs> Up goes the bolt. I see two people whiff on that aerial. Yeah, Alkane's not getting anything going there. There's now low five chance for an open net. And he is not going to be able to convert that one. A little scrap plate on the attacking side. We're going to scoreboard five shots coming in from the Void Gaming. Uh, right now, oh, that's just dominant play from the flip side. And unfortunately, uh, Cook's not able to convert that. But for a minute there, he would be able to. But again, goal difference is going to be so, so important for the Void Gaming. If they're not able to win a game, they need to at least, at least keep the goals down in these games. Yeah, they, they've just been getting shut down on every potentially dangerous play that they've put in. That's game. So, I, I was actually, I had it right in front of me the whole time of being an idiot. So the goal difference is gonna be minus 52 to minus 20. Interesting. Yeah, these goal differences are actually, They're not right. they don't have yesterday's. Yesterday's games. But I, they're oh, these games? up in the studio. So, that was a little bit of a blowout. But I still think they could pull out a win. They could pull out a win if they get their stuff together. I, towards the end, Kugi Kug was starting to play a little bit more confidently. We saw a few early whiffs. I could see that was that was on the win. North American server, and they got absolutely. That is smart. true. That is true. But they, they have two more games on the North American server, so they might be able to pull it off. I'm not as confident Honestly, as I think was I, going I, in. I, I, I look at the first game they play against Swarm Gaming as being the key game for me because they're gonna have they were already be warmed up. True. They'll True. Be ready. They, that no one looked warmed up in that game. Everyone looked a little bit yeah. off kilter there. Slop, off, off what? Off kilter? That, That's that, a cool term. I, I, I think it's I think it's a real one too. I'm not hundred we'll percent positive. We'll, we'll, go, we'll with go with it. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll run with it. Why not? Uh, anyway, start up game, game underway. number two. And flip side already with control of the ball. Yeah, already two. putting pressure Ooh. on. Okay. Alright, Devoid. Alright. A little, bit, a little bit of aggression coming from them. Again, just to emphasize, the Void just need one win of their 12 games. Now only 11 remain. Every game that goes by and they lose, their uh, chance just gets uh, slightly smaller of making it to the playoffs on Saturday. Beautiful shot from Cooks in the air. He's going to set up like rules. He's not going to be able to get it. Now over to uh, Marky, who puts a beautiful shot on target. And there's Kugi Kugs there with a great save. Octane's with the clearance. Beautiful play from low five actually to be able to get that ball all the way down the wing. Cooks though with a relatively simple clearance just tries to put some uh, momentum on that ball. Kugi Kugs overcommitted a little bit there. That was potentially dangerous. Up goes Mike Rules. Not able to connect. 
Aki watches that clearance, goes over low five. So, so far, minute gone. No action in terms of goals. A couple of chances from both squads. But solid defense right now coming out of Devoid. Devoid also with a solid offensive play, but it's going to get shut down immediately. Oh, there it is. Walk me through exactly what happened there, Rich. It just looks like there, there's a lot of pe Everyone's overcommitting right now, kind of getting out of position, and it's easy to punish. The pitch is so small. Okay. But, well. but no one's looking extremely strong right now. I, I still think this game could actually, this could work out in Devoid's favor. You think? Yeah, I do. Just based off, I'm gonna eat my words there, but I still do think right now, Flipside Tactics isn't playing at full strength. You don't think Flipside's playing at full strength? No, I don't. I don't think either team is. Well, Flipside finds themselves 2-0 up with three minutes 30 left. So, we were talking about goal difference and I was right. For some reason, the number 38 is stuck in my head, and that is the correct number. So, to put that in perspective of, you know, a couple of people were like, oh, you know, what is this goal difference for? What, what are they talking about? So, let's just, let's say Devoid loses all 12 games tonight, okay? Yeah. If they concede more than 38 goals, they will not qualify. Oh, well, they're they have get a already right here, Kooky Kooks. They've already conceded five. This game is 2 1, so that's a negative six. So they have 32 calls left. Y did you? That's what I'm talking about right there. Kooky Kooks just walked it in on an open net. If if players keep over committing here, we might see a win. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm expecting flip side to 6 0. If we weren't banned from betting Chipotle. Oh, we can bet Chipotle. Ethan can't tell me he was. Uh uh. I'll, I'll win Ethan Chipotle. I'm too. putting a Chipotle okay. burrito on this game right now in favor of Floyd Gaming. Th th this exact game right now. This, uh, okay. this game right now. Th this this game this right now. This is it. Okay, fine. Another Chipotle bowl. You're about a to bowl. win me too. You don't want a burrito? No. Uh, let's have Lucky. a look at Cooksa. That's uh, a beautiful play over towards the mid. Up goes Marky, but he's still unable to convert that one. Now, Mike rules, crossbar, Marky keeping the pressure up, two and a half minutes left. Octane gonna try to push it up the line, but immediately more pressure is put in. Oh, it's centered, this is dangerous. Octane not get whiffed on that clear there, and it's re-centered again. This is just some wonky defensive play here. <laughs> oh, dare me. Ethan, our, our, our technical director, is, is probably the, the best individual of all time. But why did he give you $5? <laughs> uh, fun, fun story. He challenged me to a bet back at one of our Call of Duty finals to say the words, wow, 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 three times as fast as I possibly could whilst live, and I did it, and he didn't pay up until right now. So I can afford to bet you because I have the $5. That was like half This early. is dangerous. I just said wonky three times. Oh, wow. Chubby Skulls, a.k.a. Monkey Doodah. Connects, back of the net, 3-1. You ready to tell me two Chipotle bowls? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I am. <laughs> you sound dejected, and you should be. Flipside Tactics putting on a pretty impressive show. I will be keeping track of that goal difference, though, for everyone at home, depending on how close it gets, of course. You may look at you know, minus 38 goals as a, a huge difference, but remember, they Cookie have Cookie. to play 12 he's gonna get this. games. No, he's not. Beautiful save from Marky. You have to have faith in Marky. This is why I drafted him as my teammate for our 2v2. So good. Uh, Marky there, there is so been, good. There if he was this good at octane. real football, he could be like Lionel Messi. Sadly, he sucks at that. But Rocket League, he's definitely very, very good at. Octane or Low Five should have been there to get that in. Both of their defensive players on flip side had overcommitted. But this is going to go in for flip side. No. I think Octane should be able to just knock that one away. Marky with a scrappy clearance. Final 60 seconds. Still not over. The ball goes up. Mikey tries to touch it. Octane's with the potential of a fast break here, but Mikey, beautiful control of the ball. Just dribbles yeah, it straight past one, dribble. straight past two. Passes it over to Cooks. That one's going to go up. Can Mikey try and put some mustard on that one? He can. That is up and dipping dangerously. Low five down. Great save. But the pressure is not gone yet. That just barely missed going in. I think this one may actually dip in. Nope. Good save. Comes in from Kugi. And what what has been the issue with the Void Gaming this game? I honestly think it's 
they they haven't been playing. This is gonna go in. There we go. That's good. Game's that's that's huge. Reduces that gold of just a little bit. I honestly think the problem though is uh, rotationally they're not playing as well as Flipside. Flip Flipside plays I mean, a very strong like rotational the, game. They're the king of rotation. They, they are. They definitely are. But it's it's biting them right, right now. The fact that uh, they're not getting back on defense quick enough. They're leaving an open net. Most of those goals that have gone in have just been dunked in. Okay, well, final 13 seconds. Flipside still do have the lead. The game is by no means over, though. Devoid could potentially pinch one and try and take it to overtime. Cooks is just going to lob that one up. In goes Marky. Ball still bouncing around dangerously. One second if it touches the floor. This game is over. Mike keeps it in the air. Ball should be good to bounce. And no, Cooks is going to keep that alive. This is dangerous stuff. The ball goes in the box, and that's a goal. Flip side, adding salt to the wound at the very end. How crucial will that goal be towards the end of the evening? For me, at least, I win a second Chipotle from Rich. So that is wonderful. And I am Salty. writing that down. I am done. Yeah. You probably shouldn't bet against me. I very rarely lose. Thank you, Emily. Yo, do you have a Chipotle bet next year? I'll give you great odds. Du double, double or nothing. All or nothing. Chipotle for a month. All or nothing. All or nothing. All, what do you mean all or nothing? All or nothing doesn't mean anything. All or nothing. I don't get. I, I don't get anything with all. Or, it's either here is the bet that I already owe you, <laughs> or you get nothing. Great. Good odds, Rich. Good odds. All right. I think. I pray you never go to a casino. You can ready up as well. We're good to go. You think what? I think Flipside might lose one. I think Devoid is going to pull it off. I really do. I believe. Oh, by the way, here is the here is the five beautiful American dolls from Ethan. The t TD wasn't wasn't lying. He said, "Do you want me to sign it?" Nope, because it'll only be worth two dollars fifty. <laughs> Killing the game. I am so salty right now. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just winning. I'm having a great day. I, I nutmegged Will. I will go five dollars from Ethan. I won a second Chipotle from Rich. My day could not be going any better if Games I wanted it to. Now it gets cast underway. Rocket League. This is a beautiful day. But in, in all seriousness, though, Rich, that that last second goal, I mean, that, that, that could goal. be. That's... But think how costly that could be towards the end of the day. Let's say Devoid do go 0 and 6, 0 and 6. That goal could be the difference between qualification. That would be a uh, do, you, do we know who won heads up between Devoid and Perfect Storm? That's the second question, the tiebreaker, if it, if it does go that far. I'm not positive. I'm not positive off the top of my head. I just looked through my notes. I don't see it. We will need to try and get confirmation on that. Ethan, my wonderful technical director, if you find yourself a moment, that intel would be wonderful because my memory is as bad as good as my 98-year-old grandma's. Not the best. At least you're full on Chipotle. All right, well, we are seeing some pressure on the blue side of the field right now. Low five tries to center it. Cuxer is going to try to knock it right back out. Whoops. And I can't Very remember. familiar to that last game. I can't remember who's who when they change their names like this. Why? Chubby Skulls, Maki, Campbell, Mikey. Campbell, Mikey. Campbell, Mikey. All right, well, Marky Duda is going to march it up the field, try to center it. Going to get denied. Ooh. Okay, interesting intel. Devoid beat Perfect Storm. 6 0. No, maybe Ethan's lying to me. Ethan probably Ethan, just lied. To me. Uh, Ethan. I feel like Ethan just lied. To me. He, he said it so sure and so certain. And then he was like, oh, wait, maybe not. Getting radio silence right now as well. No. And it was at that moment Ethan knew he done goofed. Oh, no, speaking of done goof, Mike rules with a huge five, defensive mistake. Just gives low five the easiest right, goal so of his Rocket League career. We have. We have Two oh, Chipotle no. burritos on this game? No. That, that's what no, I thought. You, you said all or nothing. All or nothing. You said all or nothing, which is not bad. All right. Well, let's let's. Uh, I will bet you two Chipotle burritos that the Void Gaming will win this game, and you bet me four. No. It's fair. Why? Because then I will owe you math. four. Because of the spread. No. Because then I will still owe you two. That fine. doesn't make any fine, sense. Fine. Just two. Just two. That, that doesn't make any sense. You caught me, all right? Like, what? <laughs> I, I'm not an idiot. God damn it, Rich. Oh, that demolition, though. Bolt up an aerial. All right, two? No. Two on the line? No. Two on this game? No, you already owe me two. I'm not betting both my Chipotles. That was just, that's reckless. That's reckless betting. I'm scared. That's I'm what scared. something a, someone with a gambling addiction would do. Like me. Oh, my. I'm able to convert that one. 
Mike Rule's going to put that one back into the box. Should be an easy clearance for Octanes, but no. Monkey again able to put it back into the box. Low five, not having the best clearance there. Oh, my lord. Oh, oh my lord. Own goal. All right, now you see, now it's tied at 1 1 with two minutes 20 left. I'm willing to bet you double or nothing. Okay. Four Chipotle's. You will owe me. All right, actually, no. If I, I need to stop. I, I'm <laughs> out of money. They're, they're going to win. They're going to win, though. <laughs> no, they won't. Well, they just said, sure, bet me. All right. <laughs> All, right. All right, we're doing it. All right, double or nothing. <laughs> double or nothing. I, I win four. You win. I get zero. But instead of four, <laughs> no, there's you, no you, win, four. you win a night oh. NOLA where I'm paying for your drinks. I mean, I feel like that's going to be more than four Chipotle's, yeah, Rich. I'm, I'm ready for NOLA. <laughs> oh, God. I still want four Chipotle's, though. All right, oh, shot on target off the post. Can they get the finish? The ball bouncing around dangerously Marky in flip side box. Right here. The Akash big, big play in. comes in from Marky. Completely knocked Kugi Kooks away from the ball and flip side stay alive. I saw my Chipotle's flash in front of my eyes there. They're going to turn this into potentially offensive play too. The ball is, is in a great position. Cooks goes up for it. Both people get a piece of it in the aerial though. And, oh, nice save by Kugi Kooks. Again, another fast break for the void. Yeah, so right now we're seeing good play out of both of them. It's marching back and forth between both sides. We're seeing pressure from both teams. If Octanes gets a piece of it and can knock this in, might be able to keep it in oh. his favor. Maki cuts inside Octanes. Getting juked out a little bit. I believe that's Cooks flipping it up. Up the crossbar, Cooks for the finish. No, he's going to miss that. Now up goes Maki. They need to be Octanes careful. Fast break for the void. Low, Low five. five. Can he put the ball in the box? Yes, he can. But there is Mike Rules who just gets that little touch on the ball and gives Flipside a little bit of a breathing room. Kugi Kook centers it, and Octane's going to try and knock it back in, but he's going to get denied by Mark Yuda. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mike Rules needs to get back. Double burrito. Ball is just dangerously bouncing around. Shot on target. Final 35 seconds, and that's a big defensive clearance coming out from Flipside. Final 30 seconds, they haven't looked dangerous offensively at all. They got gifted a goal essentially, but this could be the one. Cooks keeps the ball stopped, that puts it bottom left, off the post and in with 23 seconds left. Still, this is the devoid gaming I expected to see today. They're playing really well right now. That ended up going in, but I'm not upset because we didn't actually make a bet. Yeah, we did. You, I only had like two Chipotle burritos. No, we said double enough. I, I don't remember that. Yeah, we, we I do. Everyone, I have I have VOD, I have Ethan to clarify. Up goes Maki. Salt in the wound again, 3-1. And you should see the look on young Rich's face right now. He is not happy and neither are the Devoid gaming fans out there either. Their job of qualification to the season finals is gonna be so, so tough, Rich. Really the face of all the Devoid fans out there right now. He's uh, not a happy bunny, it's fair to say. <laughs> not a happy bunny at all. No, goal difference is huge though. Devoid need to make Lissette sure they carry duck. out for the final 15 seconds. They cannot afford to concede more goals. It's going to make that job even more difficult towards the end. And this could be another goal for Cooks if he's quick. Four seconds, ball bounces in and Cooks is going to get another one. Oh like my said, goodness, Devoid, Devoid falling apart at the end of this game. It has been a horrible one. How much do uh, four Chipotle burritos cost? About 50 bucks. Uh, yeah, I guess I just won't get Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rich. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. This one, this is over, and this was on North American servers as well. Devoid, they could be in some serious trouble when it goes over to European servers. A big win comes in, 4-1. Goal difference, again, starting to get a little bit out of hand for now. We are going to head over to a commercial break. When we return, we'll be on the European server, ready for more Rocket League action. Be right back. $50.